I am back with more tea. I am ready. I am ready for this. What are you hauling? Oh, you're about to cook for us. Okay. Well, apparently we now have plenty of food, so that's great. I guess once we're over like the 20 limit of the simple meals. So that is awesome. Rose has gotten food poisoning. Are you kidding me? You know what? Suck it up. Items left outdoors are slowly de de yep, deteriorate. We want to keep them under a roof. Well, maybe we can just expand here to be an indoor storage area for now. We do not want to build more doors. We want to build more walls. Just deconstruct that. La 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 la. I nodded after I did that because I knew what I meant. Even if everyone else didn't. Okay, so we can also create a dumping um, stockpile zone, so that's interesting. I think that is. Is it expanded or the same? Hold on. I think. Do I want to drag it over it for it to be considered the same? Yeah. And then rename to indoor storage. Again, we don't have a riff, but you know, that's fine. Do, 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 do. And then we'll repurpose you to allow. We won't allow rotten stuff in there, but we'll allow manufactured. There are resources, items, blah, blah, blah. I don't know about corpses for now. So, about roofs. I am intrigued by them. How do they happen? Are they a thing that just automatically happens in time? Because I'm not seeing a thing. Expand build roof area. So I guess they're just a thing that's automatically done, maybe? Hmm. Oh, this tea is hot and I picked it up the wrong way. Like, not using the handle way. Okay, I hope Ro has got over her food poisoning right now. So, how are you all doing? Let's just get rid of your hat. Do, do, do. Needs. Very low expectations. Opinion of my lover seven. Feeling good, but also uncomfortable. We need to get something soft to sit around here. Yeah, shared bedroom, hot, starved sleep, innocent prisoner died, and a moderate amount of pain. Okay. I think... I think we may start doing individual bedrooms. So for a first colony, I apologise it's not, you know, neat or anything like this. This is just be me learning for the very, very first time this game. Um, so things are going to look crap because it's not going to be a long-term colony out with this series. But I am actually really enjoying the game now that I've played a tutorial. Without the tutorial mode added, I felt way over my head. The tutorial was... It was a, a basic starting point, but it was a good starting point for me to be like, okay... I think I know where I go from here. It's helped that I, I, I have, I went into this blind, but I've seen some things, particularly because I moderate for Inter Elysium and he's played this on stream on Twitch a couple of times. However, it tends to be that I am heavily focused on chat and I only pick up like a couple of things that Inter Elysium says, mostly to do with eating humans. I, I don't know. He's, he's a weird one, that guy. Okay. Trying to talk with tea in my mouth was not my brightest idea. I think we'll give people their own individual bedrooms for now because we have we have plenty of wood, but we do want to work on getting some more eventually. Structure. I will need to learn the shortcuts, but I'm always you'll notice this throughout like my entire YouTube career, for lack of a better word, is that I tend to um I tend to not use the shortcuts and I'll just manually do things, but. I like to use the excuse, it's so y'all know what I'm pressing in the let's play, but it's mostly because I have a hard time remembering what the shortcuts are. I already forgot the size I made that. That doesn't look right. Hmm. 
I think that's right. How many do we need? Ruin met share, Pyro and Tiger. Um, you know what? One can have that to themselves, so that's fine. Uh, the bedrooms. Beds, not bedrooms. Also, you need doors. It helps to be able to get inside the bedroom. I did place a door, didn't I? Oh, no, not enough storage. We need more wood. Right. Well, let's go deal with that then. Orders. We want to chop wood. Go, chop a bunch. Get that wood, baby. That... I don't sit saying that. I'm never going to say that again. I can only apologise for saying it. Frankly, I'm shocked and appalled at myself. So we can reinstall them elsewhere as well, so that actually helps a lot to know. Because I was thinking, like, do we have to like deconstruct them and then reconstruct them? The wooden beds are awful right enough, but still. I have a feeling we might just keep Let Geek in there. He seems to be like the, the main trooper of this colony. So how do we go about getting him a ranged weapon? I assume next time we have traders. Are you just going to lie next to a turkey? Yes, I know the difference between turkeys and ostriches. We'll just haul that somewhere, I think. Is it Pyro that's dealing with the wood? Yes, it is. Now, did I actually look at Mitchie's character? He's a naturalist. He grew up in a backwater planet with minimal education. He had to hunt and grow food to survive. So, he's, he's pretty passionate about construction, burning passion. But he's quite good with animals. Very strong expert. Now, he's incapable of being intellectual, social and artistic. He's cold tolerant, he's nervous, he's psychically sensitive. He's also an overwatch sniper, so he joined the military and stayed to protect his fellow soldiers. Interesting, okay. He was forgetting something when it came to him. Uh, we should be getting... Lit Geek has gotten food poisoning. No, Lit Geek! Bad, bad, bad Lit Geek. We are all out of wood now, I assume. Which is weird, because we should be chopping it, because we're not hauling it. It should be that we're hauling it, right? Unless I'm going about hauling things the wrong way. I am designating it to be haulable, though, am I not? Wait. You've detected an escape pod crashing hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. You can rescue them and send them on a raid or capture them. For recruitment or slavery purposes. Well, I... Okay, so, yeah, this should be eventually hauled in. Yeah, because we eventually must have hauled that steel in. So, you know, maybe in God knows how many months we'll get to it. So where's this escape pod? I should have, like, jumped to it. Because I'm going to miss it eventually, probably. Hello? That arrow confused me. Roll, what is it now? What's tired now? I thought we told you to get rid of that. Did you just decide to pick it up and wear it again? Because really, come on. Just get rid of it. You don't need it. Nobody else has a hat. Why do you think you need one? Oh, sorry, microphone. <laughs> yes. I apologise to my microphone for bashing my tea off of it. I also just noticed that my microphone was slightly off-centre, so I hope that has not ruined my 
past like five recordings that I've done because that would suck. Nature likes some music though. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen from space and landed nearby. <gasps> Ooh. Let's deconstruct it and claim it for our own. Are we hauling the wood in yet? We are not. Come on now. Have we ran out of space for it? Is that why? No, there should be room for it in our storage areas. Raw resources. Wood, yeah. Might just be... You know what? We've... We... We don't need to keep doing it forever. In fact, we'll suspend it for now. But we have a good thing going on here. And then, is he one of our Holland Halls? You know, I keep referring to Lit Geek as a she, uh, as a he, sorry, and that's because I know Lit Geek from the chat um, on Twitch and stuff like this. But it's actually she, so. I need to stop getting that wrong. You know, Lit Geek's the youngest and yet she is all about this life. And capable of dumb labour. Tons of joy. Eight without table. Feeling bad. No! We are getting to that stuff eventually. Okay, Mitch is hauling in the wood. Sweet. I guess that means we can... Why is that? They're like a random square. I'm starting to think these may be a little bit too small for bedrooms. I don't know. Mm, structure. Uh, door. Oh. Identical thing already exists, huh? Okay. Did I- was I trying to put walls on it, or...? Yeah, I was trying to put walls on top of walls. Well... I am the Donald Trump of RimWorld. There we go, and then... Let's make this row a chunk of spacecraft. Okay, row and where's Mitchie's bed? No, where'd it go? Ah, one of these days I'll find my colony. Today is not that day. Reinstall. Here, we want to build you a lamp. Or torch, rather. Furniture. And we'll chop the trees down that's inside your bedroom. And I think we said that we're going to keep lit that as Lit Geek's bedroom. So we'll take Pyro's bed, put it down here, and uh, build a torch for you as well. And I think we will budge Lit Geek's bed over and then also make it into a little dining area as well. I mean, we could give him give her her own bedroom, but she she is all about that work life. So I am not gonna complain. We are low on food again, cause we're sub twenty. Well, now that we've started to haul things in, I don't mind doing that forever again. Nope. <laughs> what am I doing? I just want you to move over one, not up one as well. Right, and then build a little table for people. And a couple of dining chairs, because we definitely have enough wood for that. 
Is that going to get in the way of that? I think it should be fine. So yeah, we're, we're getting good here. We're getting good. I need to set people's owners again. Oh, Rose accepted Mitchie's marriage proposal. <gasps> yes, yes, sweet. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to. Nah, they can go where they want. As Ro draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. She isn't sure why, but she feels this dusty structure may contain danger. <gasps> uh oh, we're we're fine. We're getting married. Maybe she's just getting cold feet. Okay, we need to set the owners again. So, Mitch, Ro, Pyro. And let geek. So I'm glad I got them their own bedroom in time for them to be married. But we need to get our food stock up again. You can figure how colonists should automatically respond to threats like predatory animals, choose from flee, attack, and ignore modes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we have a, a fancy area for them um, set up to get married in. Is that where they all feeling about, about things now? You are sleeping with Mitch. He's right there. She's still in a moderate amount of pain, which, eh, I'm sorry. Joy deprived. Not Zeke's master, what? Oh, cause, okay. No, not slaughter Zeke. I wanted to move his, 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 his thing. Let's see. Crafting spot. Okay, so we can craft bows and stuff as well. Sweet, I should have went over that. We're not researching anything at the moment are we we should probably do that as well i'm sure someone has pointed it out to me way in advance but i am recording these videos in advance so you'll just have to bear with me yeah we'll we'll build you a sweet little spot zeke so researching are we researching anything research so we research batteries and stuff like that. Uh, and we are in progress for stone cutting, but we haven't like done anything to it for it. Lit Geek and Mitch are no longer fighting. Mitch started a social fight with Lit Geek, reason insulted. <gasps> and a colonist needs treatment. Lit Geek and Mitch, damn, they took their fight serious. I'll look at that in a second. I mean, that's, that's what's confusing me, like, we aren't actually researching it. How do we research it? Is it because we don't have, like, a dedicated researcher or a sign? Uh, no, it's work orders, isn't it? Yeah, it should be a row that does researching, but I guess because they're all working at so many, so I need to sort of balance it better. So, okay, we don't need that many cooks, for instance. Um... Although Ro is actually better at cooking than Lit Geek is. Let's see. Um, what can I? What can I do? What can I do? They're all cleaning. They're all hauling. Lit Geek works in crafts. They all do art. Lit Geek is our tailor as well, and our smith. Pyro and Ro work on cutting the plants, and Ro is our miner. Plus our grower, repair, they all work in construction, they all do hunt, apart from row. See, they all do bed rest. We don't need that many doctors. They all do patienting. Hmm, I'm not really sure how to sort of balance it better than what we have got going on right now. So, I guess just because it's at a lower priority. 
and that's why it's taken so long to even consider the, the tailoring. Okay, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. I think, I think, I think. Make that into a crafting spot. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I couldn't remember what happened there. So, I've been directly insulted. What an awful person. Opinion of my fiancé, Ro. Want to sleep with Ro? Yeah, but you are. Still feeling it's a cramped environment, but to be honest, it's a lot better than what you had. So, he's bruised on his left arm, left leg, and left ring finger. What about you, like Geek? You're, you're fine. Okay. Feeling bad, though. For no apparent reason, I just feel bad right now. Aww. Um, Zeke knows that's his spot, right? I assume he does. Is Pyro still, like, sad and stuff? For not being Zeke's master. Look, Pyro. Where, where'd Zeke go? Zeke, baby! Zeke! Where are you? That is a timber wolf. That is scary. Oh, there you are, Zeke. Shot by Pyro Tiger. Wait, I'm sorry, Pyro. You shot Zeke? Okay, no, it can't be that, right? That's if we wanted to try and shoot him, I think. Okay, I hope that's why. Ah, I accidentally said Mitch is the master. Now we know. Okay, at least they're sharing a room like, like they should. Like they should. Mitch is fully healed. Do they feel good that they're, you know, eating at tables now? Food is still not great. Cause we're, I guess because we're still just doing like simple meals. But you know, I I think I'm doing pretty well. 